Hello, it's 9 p.m. in Djibouti. It's time to English New Edition. The headlines for tonight's uh, news concerning the National Education Workshop of Annual Review of the First Year's uh, Action Plan of 2017-2019. At the international sea in the in South Korea, the former president of South Korea Park Audrey to 25 years in prison for corruption. Welcome in our uh, newsroom. It is uh, a sunny the Hotel of Arta that is held uh, in the day of uh, 5 April, the meeting of a workshop of the annual review of the joint uh, first years of the plan of action for education 2017-2019. This meeting under the auspices of the Secretary General of the Ministry of Education, Mr. Han Abdallah Mahyub, has seen the participations of various representatives uh, of the world institutions and partner of the Ministry of National Education experts and inspectors uh, in the file of education, representative of civil society, as well as uh, those of associations of parents and students have also taken part in this important meeting of uh, action plan of the 2017-2019 education. The Secretary General of the MINFOP, Mr. Mohamed Abdullah Mahyoub, has opened the work uh, of the, the work of the workshop by a war of welcomes felt well, this uh, prelude has served as an uh, entry in the file of frames uh, of the MINFOP who have uh, prepared and developed with the expert and technician of the partners the documents uh, of the plan action plan of education 2017-2019. After the meeting of experts, the Minister of uh, National Education and Vocational Training, Mr. M Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, has uh, chaired this test is at the end of the morning, the closing ceremony of the workshop of joint review of the first years of the Action Plan for Education 2017-2019. In his speech on the occasion of this ceremony, His Excellency Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud recalled that the joint review represents a moment of uh, pause, allowing the MENFOP to evaluate the actions carried out previously to measure the goals set for the year 2017. He further recalled that the review allowed to formulate the recommendations with a view to regulate, to adjust uh, the new activities in the EAP 2017-2019 and predict its extension. The Minister has sent its uh, thanks to all the participants for their thoughts and their contributions to the success uh, of this joint review of the EAP 2017-2019. He also thanked the representative of the UNICEF for his financial support and welcome its leadership in the coordination of the GLPD. Finally, the Minister of Safa Mohammed Mahmoud has urged all the friends of MINFOP to work tirelessly for the implementation of the EAP 2017-2019. Remember that the EAP 2017-2019 just uh, plan last plan of the uh, diagram 2010-2019 directors is a document of 100 pages. We are uh, describing briefly the process of the uh, elaborations of the EAP, namely the joint review of EAP 2014-2017, then the symposiums of the quality of the lessons programming, which have led to the designs and the draftings of the first EAP 2017-2019. For his part, the Minister of National Education and Vocational Training, Mr. Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, has urged all the firms of the MINFOP to work tirelessly for the implementation of the EAP 2017-2019 document, which has been submitted to the annual external evaluation in the second part, the design outline the priority and expect result of the EIP, also a document of reference for the EIP, a quantitative uh, overview of the whole, the priorities and expected results to program, and finally to follow up mechanisms 
of execution are present by the many details in respect it must be said that the EIP 2017-2019 is part of the continuity of the previous EIP 2014-2016. It's prepared the development of the new Chima uh, director for 2020-2035. And in the framework of the cooperation, excellence uh, and fraternal relations between the Republic of Djibouti and the European Union, uh, the Colonel Vice Honorable Commanders of the Coast Guard in Djibouti hosted in the Directorate in the General Headquarters of the Coast Guard located in this a delegation is uh, led by the Counter Admiral uh, Spanish uh, Alfonso uh, Dinil Mondares and Amiral Simon Italians uh, of the operations of Atalant after a brief presentation of the various missions and the facilities of the Coast Guard to the delegation, Colonel Weiss Omar Borre had to pay tribute to the excellent cooperation and coordination between the two institutions of the, the Coast Guards of the two countries, Admiral uh, Alfonso Dinil Mondales and uh, Simon Mahaga have uh, appreciated the works of the Coast Guard in Djibouti and the remarkable results of its mission and have highlighted that the Coast Guard in Djibouti is an important institution in the dominate the security and the safety of maritime staff and uh, of the bubble men that they have also welcomed uh, Colonel Rice and Marabore, commanders of the uh, Coast Guard in Djibouti for the honorable job performs in a short period of time in order to develop the Coast Guard in Djib uh, of Djibouti. The working visit of the Coast Guard is complete by the presentations to the delegation to the different types of patrol vessel of the institutions by the Colonel Vice or or the commanders of the Coast Guard. And uh, concerning the is the returns of the rain in the certain regions of our country of to the great benefit of the nomadic population and their livestock for the resumption of tourist activity. In the day yesterday, as you see these images, the seasonal rain before the period of uh, head has made its appearance on a large part of the coastlines uh, in the prefectures of the Tejora, especially in the sector of the mountains of Goda, with a high density, the population and the cattle. This region had not received from a drop of drop of waters for a long time and the nomadic populations of the north as well as very welcome the returns of the seasonal rain. Livestock feed will be available this uh, that's uh, awaiting for the moment uh, of uh, nomad the long journey for the transhumans uh, which uh, requires the movements with the cattle the week the works of the coastline Sasala, Hankata, Ad Aidoli and uh, were all in found causing some inconvenience uh, to users of the road Tajora Djibouti, especially the passage was difficult for the days near the Pika Nines in the factories of the waters of Tajora. The movement has been restored a few hours after the residents. In addition to the benefit for the nomadic population, the returns of the rain in the region of Tajora will be very beneficial for the restarts of the activities in the touristic centers of the north deserted these last times. Tourists will again discover the wonderful landscapes of the sectors of the Goda Mountains rich in animal biodiversity. And uh, concerning the international uh, scene, the former president of the South Korea Park Jun Hai was uh, found guilty of abuse of powers, corruption and uh, coercion by a tribunal in Seoul in the trials of the resounding scandal. OECD has urged Tunisia to improve its business climate. It targets including the reduction of the administrative formality to attract more investment and stimulate economic growth. In its first economic study on Tunisia, the 
OECD has noted that despite the progress made on various fronts, the regulations, the bureaucracy and lack of logistical service hindered the investment of the private sector. Here, the major challenges are the tax situation that everyone knows stresses Alvaro Pereira, Chief of Economists of at the OECD. It's very important to pay attention to the tax barrier, but the most important thing to do, as I have said, is the reform of competition instances. Tunisia has undertaken economic reform agreed with the International Monetary Fund to obtain loans in order to reduce its budget deficit and restore its economy. For us, this report identifies a number of views that we share, in particular the major reform of public finance, which are very important for us, explained Ziad Ladari, Tunisian Minister for Development, Investment and International Cooperation. As stressed in the lead of the government, the cost of the non reform is much higher today. The OECD provides an economic growth of 2.8% in 2018, roughly in line with the estimates of the government of Tunisia, which plans to 3.4% in 2009. And in France, half of the entire city region is submerged member denounce uh, the alarmists of uh, Gerard Colomb on asylum seekers. Uh, listen to this report. The region submerged member denounced the alarmists of Gerard Colomb on asylum seekers. These are the elected representatives of the majority and of the communists who, they say, do not want more of the intox that accompanies this speech of fear. Gerard Colomb present its bill asylum, asylum immigration Tuesday in the commissions of the assembly and despite its connection it was suggested that a relaxation of the maximum period of administrative detention was feasible. It is one of the aspects most controversial of the project that the NGOs the CIMA denounced in his hall before its consideration by the national assembly in 10 days. The employees of CIMAD intervents in the retention center are on a strike to protest against this bill. The gathering of yesterday had to place a few meters from one of the three camps of migrants still present in Paris. 100,000 people have applied for asylum in France last year. In Germany and in Italy, it is rather the double, according to the Association France Land of Asylum. France is in 17 position in Europe and the arrival of illegal migrants by sea have declined by 63 percent between 2016 and 2017 in the European Union. This is it uh, for tonight's news. Thanks for watching us. Have a good evening.